Woo! It has been a time, you guys. It's been a long, long time. But look who's back with another video. Finally, okay? It is your girl, Touch by Tiny, of course. So let's start it off, you guys. Thank you so very much for joining and thank you so very much for watching. So today, we are going to do something fun and it's also a trending hairstyle. So I have a lot of um, not list box braids tutorial videos, you guys, but I will be sure to have one link down below so you can get the actual deets on how to achieve the perfect knot list. But in this video right now, we are kind of speeding through it because I really, really just want to showcase the front of her hair of the freestyle um, training style that we're doing or whatever. But um, I'm also showing you guys how to do a little bit of the knot list. And when it comes to knot list, all you have to remember, you guys, as long as you know how to do plaits, all you have to remember is start off braiding the natural hair by itself first and then you're going to start to add small pieces of hair as you go and y'all please don't mind my um my voice my allergies has been kicking my tail okay this video been recorded for so long and I've been trying to do a voiceover, but this is the best I can do. This is the best I've sound. So this is it, okay? So mm. anyways, you guys, always start off braiding. When it comes to the knot, let's start off braiding with the natural hair first and then just start to um, add small pieces of hair. And I tend to have anywhere from six to eight little strands of hair, depending on how long we're doing it. And for her, her hair will be a little bit long, longer than usual. So we will keep adding hair and adding hair because it's a little bit past her butt, actually. And I am using the 52 inches braiding hair in the Expression brand, the green pack. Um, so, you know, if you do want your hair to be long, I do recommend for you to get the 52 inches. Anything above the 52 inches tend to tangle a lot. So try to stay away from the 58. The most I will probably do is 58, but that tangles. So try to stay away from the 58 and most definitely stay away from the 72. I don't even know why they have that long hair, but if you want your hair long, you guys don't look too much into the longer the hair the easier it be no if anything it gets worse so moving right along to the top you guys like i said this is a trending style where um it's like a lemonade type of feel where the braids go onto one side and for me i always do around two um two rows of knotless near the ear because the ear will create a hump in a weird shape if you don't have anything protecting the hair from your ear. Keeping it very simple and clean for the first row, you guys, nothing too major. I will have two knotless, and right above that, I start making my parts 
little bit more on the oval side and the reason for that is because i find it a little bit easier to hide the knot list once the actual feeding braids fall over it when it's in an oval shape versus in a square shape so keep that in mind when it's a square it's harder to hide point blank period See, very nice and simple and look how flat that's laying down so now when I'm ready to do the um, braids the feeding braids over it is gonna keep the ears from creating that weird shape and now you guys for the fun part I call that the fun part because I don't know what I'm doing right here okay and this is why it's called a freestyle I am literally doing this as i go you guys i'm letting my comb do whatever and usually when i do that i don't see the vision of where i'm going till honestly when i'm almost finished The great thing to me about freestyling is not only is it your own, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's exciting for me because I already know it's going to come out fire, not even trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot, okay? As long as you know what you're doing, no matter what you're doing exactly, it's always going to come out hot, you guys. So believe in yourself and just let your comb and your hands do what it needs to do, okay? Period. So for this braid, you guys, I made it just a little bit thicker than the first braid because the first braid was just like a regular feed-in braid. And right here, I'm going to do a design of a zigzag parting. So whenever you see we flip a, a piece of a strand of hair one way, the um, other piece and the opposite direction and so on and so forth, it's usually like a zigzag, snake, whatever you want to call it. And um, for me, I know a lot of braiders nowadays, whenever they're doing hair for the, um, or whenever they're doing designs for the front, they don't like to add hair. I am not a fan of that because 90.9% .9 of my clients are all natural. So I would add hair throughout your whole head to make sure the um, there's longevity and to make sure you're not out here walking around with a mini fro in the front of your hair. So therefore, I just start to um, add real tiny, skinny, skinny, skinny little pieces of hair to um, make sure that, you know, her hair is going to last her a very long time.
see how that's coming together. Yes, yes, yes. I love it already. So, yes, you guys. Um, it's gonna go straight down. Once I get to like the middle of her hair, I stop like curving it and then just make it a um normal feed in braid. And I'm gonna braid that all the way down to where I had the knotless near her ears. And this is another thing I'm freestyling. Once again, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Don't ask me any questions. I'm just doing what I do best, okay? No, nah, I'm just playing. So, But it is a, 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 a little freestyling thing that I'm doing, you guys, okay? So you see how small the little strand of hair is? Because I want to make sure that each piece of her hair will be protected and that it's going to last her. The great thing to me about freestyling is that it definitely challenges you because as the um, braider or as the service provider, it helps um, your content so that, you know, you're not constantly having the same thing over and over. But it also helps the clientele to be super unique, you know, like your client. So um, not everyone's going to walk around with the same hairstyle as her because hers was perfectly made from you.
can you guys see the vision low key or no um because i can definitely see it this is when you guys honestly this is about when i feel like i know exactly how i want her hair to look as far as like the curves and you know like we already had the idea of this is the training style that you want but as far as like how the front was gonna look um this is just now hitting me how i want it to look for real for real and that is the beauty of freestyling and i love it so very much so if your client trusts you you guys um they always going to tell you girl do whatever you want i trust you and i love that for me and i love that for them okay this is uh this is the true bond this is a real relationship you trust me and i love you for it period <laughs> And you guys, this, okay, we have made it. This, this is the final look, you guys. This is the trending style that everybody's going nuts for with a twist, okay? I had to make sure I hook up my girl, and um, she loves it. I love it. To me, it's just mwah, chef's kiss, okay? So, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I got my girl right here right now. Y'all check how long it is, okay? It's just, I love it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Until next time, peace and love. And I will be dropping another video very very soon stay tuned thanks for watching